India's fuel demand fell about 4.4% in September compared with a year earlier. Data from the Petroleum Planning and Analysis cell of the oil ministry showed on Friday. Consumption of fuel, a proxy for oil demand, totaled 15.47 million tonnes. Demand for diesel, which is widely used for transportation as well as for irrigation needs in India, declined 6% year-on-year to 5.49 million tonnes. Reserve Bank of India has decided to keep the repo rate unchanged at 4%, keeping the key lending rate stagnant, RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das said during the Monetary Policy Committee meet that an accommodative policy stance will be maintained. India can become the artificial intelligence capital of the world because of the talent pool and complex problems that it has and a policy framework for the technology can accelerate development, Tata Sun's chairman N. Chandrasekharan has said. He said AI can shape the future and direction of the country. Microsoft Corporation said on Friday it would allow most of its employees to clock in up to half their weekly working hours remotely, providing greater flexibility even after offices start reopening. The software maker said in a blog post that while returning to office is optional for most employees for now, Microsoft was not committing to having every employee work remotely. Refuting the widely held view that the coronavirus pandemic originated in a lab in Wuhan, China claimed that COVID-19 broke out in multiple places, but they were the first to report. China denied US's allegations on Friday and said that they were the ones to act on the outbreak first. Tomato prices have skyrocketed in Pakistan, touching rupees 200 per kg mark across major cities including Karachi and Islamabad this week. Despite the country importing essential commodities to meet the demand, the prices continue to rise every day leading to high inflation. The current spike in prices, however, is blamed on a ban in imports from Iran and Afghanistan. The Pakistan government recently banned tomato and onion exports from these two countries, leading to shortage of the staple food items.